Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've come up with a horse stables. Now horses aren't in the game. However, there has been a leak to say that we may be able to ride animals, which is why I came up with this idea, just in case. Um, so we've got some hay, we've got some water troughs, we've got like a heater in the back, some tools. I've kind of tried to make it look like a proper stable. Um, some more hay bales there and another water trough. Um, yeah, oh yeah, we've got the rug. So they actually sleep on these, the animals that are currently available to go in the game that go in the barn. Um, and then we've got this um, lion's night kind of like tie up thing, which looks like a tie up. I don't know what those things called, but I put one on the side of the building as part of the Anarchy Acres bundle pack. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks good. Ignore that line. I'm going to sort that out in the build. But yeah, it will be flush. <laughs> Hmm. What have I done? Oh, I see. I think I've put it out one block. Okay, it won't look like that when it's finished, promise. But yeah, this is the finished look. So let's get into the tutorial. First up, what you want to do is find a flat area of land. Um, this used to be like a corn crop area and I destroyed the building. Like one of those little mini ones with a tiny fence and stuff. Or it has pumpkins in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this area to kind of make it look like dirt. I'm going to pick the flooring. So obviously you can go for whatever flooring you want. I'm going for the Moss Eastley. And I'm doing the 16 by 16. So one there. And then we're going to snap on another. And then we're going to do two at the back as well. Then you want to find the smaller piece, which will be the 4 by 8 And we're just going to snap these onto the edge and go all the way along. And then up the top, we are actually going to go for the thin pieces. 16 by 2, put two of those down. Uh, actually, put one down and then we'll go for a 12 and then a 4. Uh, an 8 by 2, sorry. There we go. So this is the base of the building. Okay, up next onto the walls. So you want to find the Anarchy Acres corners and just place them on and point all the way in. Boom. Boom. Okay, up next, you're gonna do the roof. The only reason I'm doing this is so that you know you've got the right size placed down on the floor because it all should link up. And you want to use the snap on feature like so, and then you can see that it all lines up. And then whilst we're here, we'll just go to the roof parts again and fill those in. So we're going to start off with the 16. And we're going to put one of these on either side. Again, use the snap on feature. Like so. Then we're going to go down to the 12, uh, sorry, we're going to go down to the 8. And then we're going to go to the 6. And that is the roof parts done. You go to the, uh, I can't remember what they're called, were they? Is it Gable? Roof Ridge, that's the one. So we can go for the 16 piece first. And we can use two of those and then right at the end we can use the six and that is the roof done. Okay. Now into the walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the doors and windows on first because then I can see where they're going to sit. I'm going to put this normal window right in the middle. Like so evenly spaced. And then I'm going to put this, uh, the kind of stable looking window. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, so we're going to leave a two gap on the other side. Like so. So see how there's a space for a two block there? And then what we're going to do is we're going to reverse it and we're going to have the two block on the opposite side over here. 
basically it means that this window will line up either side so you can look through that way and then you turn around and you can see straight through to the other side all right and then what we can do is we can fill in the walls so we'll get those two blocks first you can use a snap-on feature for this or you can nudge it in like i do And then in this space, I think it is a two, four, eight. Okay, so we'll just use a six and then we'll go back to the two. You can just use an eight piece if you want to. And then at the back, we want to use the eight. And we're going to just snap those on. I've noticed the ridge, but you'll have to sort that out at the end if you've ended up the same way as I have. So now we're just going to the door because I want to make sure that that is also centered. And I'm using the archway version. So I'm leaving a two gap and then I'm just nudging this in. And then we'll fill those. And that is the building done. Obviously that ledge was there again, so you will just have to go in and knock that wall through and make sure it does line up properly. It's just because of the gable at the top. So let's rectify this real quick. So as you can see here, I have actually taken it back by one accidentally. And remembering from earlier, I used an eight, so I'm just going to nudge this in either side to make sure it lines up properly. Is that lined up? Yeah, there we go. And then we're just going to put that single window back on. Boom. There we go. Now that's done properly and it's nice and flush. See, told you I'd fix it. Hopefully you've done it correctly. <laughs> All right, up next, we're going to use some of the acres fence, which is the 16 size. We're going to do that on either side and then we're just going to snap on another one. Then we're going to go to the new corner piece, rotate those inwards. And then we're going for the six and the new fences which i am in love with you can put um different pieces here it's totally up to you you can put like a long gate there and just have like the one open uh, or you can have a large double or you can even have this in the middle where you've got the little archway but just in case of the height if you can end up riding animals i have gone for the shorter version then you want to take out this pen uh, fence here and put in a barn um, and you're going to want to bump it up all the way to the fence and you're going to have it so that little nudge is sticking this side you can see how flush it is and then on the other end you're going to go back to your fences and this time we're going to put in a six and when this guy moves you can place it and you want to flush it to the edge of the barn like so because when you look at it this side it is flush look at that love it <laughs> okay let's decorate so let's get some hay now i'm not putting it right to the edge because i feel like the animals can then jump on top and then jump out so i'm going to move it over a little bit put it here i'm going to use this little trough as a water source i'm going to put one inside as well just in case it's raining you know how it is um i'm going to put this nightly thing about mm, yeah this way why do i want that to sit i think it looks better here yeah put it there that looks good and then let's get some hay i'm gonna put that on the inside this is just for decorational purposes something an animal would have We're going to put some lights up. So I'm going to use this open exposed bulb um, and I'm just going to nudge these all the way to the top so they're central. 
on either end of the barn. There we go. And it brightens it up enough. Don't really need any other lights in here if you've got those. Next thing, I'm just going to get a rug. You can use any rug because the animals sleep on all of them. They do use them as a bed. So I'm just going to place that there. Uh, I'm going to go back to the decoration items. And I think I'm going to get... Hmm, where was it? Ah, Here's the heater. Keep your animals warm. You can place this wherever you want. Hmm. Okay, nothing else really matches. I like that. I think that looks great. I love these new fences, by the way. Like, I'm so glad they added that in. You can add a bunch of different things um, into this and just decorate it as much as you want. Um, this is that wooden hoist. I'm just going to put that on the edge. It's part of the Acres um, collection, so I thought I may as well use it. It's a bit of detail as well. Makes it stand out. You can hoist the horse over the fence. <laughs> but yeah, that is the finished design. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.